after years of waiting, the entire Mother series has finally found its way onto the Nintendo Switch, and with it comes what is without a doubt the best way to open the debug menu, as long as they're not drifting of course. That's right, anyone with a Switch that actually switches can open the debug menu without any additional accessories required. Quick note, this can be done at any point, but it is highly recommended that you do this on a fresh save file, as getting back to where you were in the story can be quite a pain. With that out of the way, I'm going to quickly show you all of the steps, then show me doing the entire process in real time. So boot up a new file, name everything whenever you please, and play through the opening segment until Onet transitions into daytime. Head straight down to the ATM at the hotel and extract all of your money, then head over to the bakery to get yourself a skip sandwich. Walk all the way back to your home and go directly to the right until you reach this spot on the map. On the middle lump of the raised terrain, position Ness so that the middle pixel of his foot is lined up just like this, and I mean exactly like this, down to the pixel. It's a little awkward and might take a little longer than you'd expect. Once you're lined up, immediately make a save state. That's step one. For step two, eat your skip sandwich and mash down, right, and left until you've clipped through. Afterwards, walk up to the top right corner of the out of bounds area. Make sure you are as far up as you can go and Ness's shadow is just touching the edge of the screen. Just like this. Facing north into the void, make another save state. That's all for step two. Step three is when we get into the really janky stuff. You're going to want to go into the controller menu of the Switch and set one of your Joy-Cons to player one and the other to player two. On your player two controller, hold SR. On your first player controller, continually press SL until something funny happens. It's possible to crash the game while doing this, but if this happens, just reload your save state. What you want to see is a blank text box with the arrow in the bottom right. It commonly appears after advancing a text box with a sideways arrow in the top left, after a bunch of ho-ohs, or in the majority of cases, both. After you've got the text box, you've completed step 3. Go ahead and make one final save state. For the final step, I'd actually recommend undocking your Switch and playing in tabletop mode. This is because the inputs required for opening the debug menu are extremely uncomfortable unless you set one Joy-Con on the table. Making sure your Joy-Cons are still set to players 1 and 2 respectively, set the player 2 Joy-Con on the table, like so. Hold down right and Y on the first player controller, press Y on the second player controller with your pinky finger, release Y, and then exactly 11 or 13 frames after release, press A and B at the same time on the first player controller. If you're a frame perfect god gamer, then you've successfully opened the debug menu. If you're a normal human being, on the other hand, you better learn how to quickly load that save state because there's no way you could perfectly time a frame perfect input. Right? To an extent, yes, but if you're struggling with the timing, I highly suggest you look up YouTuber and speedrunner Andy Perfect's channel, who has a video on the debug menu. In the top left corner of his video, his inputs are displayed. If you follow his inputs as he does them on a successful attempt, you should have no problem getting a feel for the timing. It'll still take quite a few attempts, though. It is frame perfect, after all. And that's it! Once you've got it open, create a save state to be able to access it whenever you want. Create. Don't load and mess around with it. <laughs> it makes absolutely no sense, it's amazing. Now I know that was a lot to absorb, so here's me doing the entire process in real time. Lining up this position can actually be pretty janky, so don't be afraid if it takes longer than you think it should. One thing to note is that if you have the zoom in feature enabled on your Switch, double tapping the home button should allow you to see the individual pixels much more clearly. Again, getting in this position can be pretty tough, but once you are able to get it, zoom out and make your first save state. Once you've made your save state, go ahead and eat the skip sandwich and jiggle the stick down, right, and occasionally left if you need to in order to click through. Basically, all you need to do is go in a downward motion like this, occasionally going to the left, and you should be able to clip right through. Once that is done, go ahead and walk up to the top right corner, line up Ness's shadow, how I showed you previously, and make a save state. Once that is done, you're going to need to set your Joy-Cons to players 1 and 2 respectively. Hold SR on the player 2 controller and continuously press SL on the player 1 controller until the blank text box with the arrow in the bottom right corner shows up. This part of the process took me around 20 minutes, so be patient if you don't get it in the first couple tries.
Once you get the text box, go ahead and make your final save state. For the inputs to open the debug menu, set your player 2 Joy-Con down on the table like so, then hold your player 1 Joy-Con normally. You want to hold down, right, and Y on your player 1 Joy-Con, and then with your pinky finger, press Y on the second player Joy-Con, which in this case is B. Release B 11 or 13 frames later, press A and B at the same time on the first player controller. As for getting down the timing, I pulled up Andy Perfect's video on my phone, and did my inputs exactly as he did his. This allowed me to open the debug menu on only my third try, which I'm pretty proud of considering it took me four hours to open the debug menu the first time I tried to do this. Hold down right and Y. Play. And I'm just gonna try and copy his input. It's going to take me probably around an hour. So I'll see you when I get it. Oh, yo! Never mind, that was third try. That's pretty good. That is all I have for you today. I hope this video helped you, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will respond to as many as I can as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and remember, my fellow Starmen, to never underestimate yourself.